The Democratic leader. Madam President, may we have order, Madam President? So ordered. Thank you, Madam President. Now, in August, a public servant inside the intelligence community found the conduct of the President of the United States alarming enough to file an official whistleblower complaint. The Inspector General of the Intelligence Community found this whistleblower complaint both credible and urgent. By law, the Director of National Intelligence must forward such a complaint to the Congressional Intelligence Committees within seven days of receiving it. Congress has been informed by the Inspector General of the Intelligence Community in writing that the Trump administration is preventing that complaint from being sent to the relevant committees in Congress. Those are the facts, Madam President. The situation they describe is unacceptable. We know that the executive branch is blocking the legislative branch, a co-equal branch of our government, from performing its constitutional oversight duties. The fact that the whistleblower complaint concerns our national security, our foreign policy, and potential misconduct by the President makes the situation even more serious. So in a short time, I'll ask my colleagues' consent to pass a simple resolution. It essentially says, quote, that the whistleblower complaint received on August 12, 2019 by the Inspector General of the Intelligence Community shall be transmitted immediately to the Select Committee on Intelligence of the Senate and the Permanent Select Committee on Intelligence of the House of Representatives, unquote. I cannot imagine any legitimate or straight-faced reason for an objection to this unanimous consent request. The only reason for any senator to object would be to shield the president's con conduct from scrutiny by the public and the representatives they elect to represent them. That is, to protect the president from accountability. In a moment, I hope this resolution will pass without a single dissenting senator, and it should. The request, despite its non-controversial nature, speaks to the issues that go back to the founding days of our republic. Checks and balances, the separation of powers, the constitutional duty of the president and executive branch to faithfully execute the laws of the United States. The Senate today, right now, should speak with one unified voice to reaffirm those time-honored principles and defend the grand traditions of our democracy. So, Madam President, as if in legislative session, I ask unanimous consent that the Senate proceed to the immediate consideration of S. Resolution 325, introduced by Mr. Schumer and submitted earlier today. The clerk will report. Senate Resolution 325, expressing the sense of the Senate that the whistleblower complaint received on August 12, 2019, by the Inspector General of the Intelligence Community should be transmitted immediately to the Select Committee on Intelligence of the Senate and the Permanent Select Committee on Intelligence of the House of Representatives. Is there objection to proceeding to the measure? Madam President, reserving the right to object. <clears throat> Majority uh, Leader. Colleagues, all of us share a concern for protecting whistleblowers who use appropriate established channels to raise legitimate concerns. The Senate's obligation is to treat such allegations in a responsible and deliberate manner, to avoid racing to judgment based on media leaks, to not fuel media speculation with breathless accusations. There's much we do not know about the complaint lodged with the intelligence community's inspector general, including whether the complaint involves intelligence activities at all. Before the Democratic leader elected to go to the media yesterday, the chairman and vice chair of the Senate Select Committee on Intelligence had already been working together in a bipartisan manner, free from politicization, to get more information from both the acting director of national intelligence and the intelligence community's inspector general. Given the progress the committee was making, I don't believe this made-for-TV moment 
was actually necessary. I would have preferred the committee be allowed to do its work in a quiet, methodical manner. It doesn't serve the committee or its goals to litigate its business here on the floor or for the television cameras. Nevertheless, I agree that the DNI should make additional information available to the committee so it can evaluate the complaint consistent with the statute and other procedures that exist to safeguard classified and sensitive information. I also want to express my appreciation for President Trump's announcement that the White House will release tomorrow the complete, fully declassified, and unredacted transcript of his phone conversation with President Zelensky. I hope this will help refocus the conversation away from breathless speculation and back toward the facts. So, stipulating that our objective here is simply to conduct the kind of bipartisan oversight of intelligence matters that the committee has successfully conducted in the past, I have no objection to the Senator's request. Madam President. Without objection, the Senate will proceed to the measure. Madam President, President just three Leader. brief points. First, this resolution is not aimed at the Senate Intelligence Committees. Senator Burr and Warner do do a diligent job in trying to figure out what's going on. It is aimed at a thus far recalcitrant executive branch, which has blocked the ability for the committees to see the complaint even though law requires it. And second, it is welcome that we can join together to do our job of oversight. And I want to thank the Majority Leader for not blocking this request, because I think every one of us in this chamber realizes the importance of oversight and the need to prevent an overreaching executive from going that far. Getting the transcript is a good step, but is the complaint we need. That is the gravamen of this resolution. It is the whistleblower's complaint, not the transcript, that we need and are asking for in this resolution. And so I further ask that the resolution be agreed to and the motion to be reconsider be considered, made, and laid upon the table with no intervening action or debate. Is there objection? Without objection, so ordered.